Welcome back to all Burning Crusade dungeons. I am sitting on the edge of the Alcatraz. The sad light for Tempest Keep, basically. We have the key. As we did the others. Although only one person needs it. If I didn't have it, the, the other guys would have opened the door for me anyway. But I always like having my own keys and not never needing to bump one. Still got some of these shards from the last run. Need to start using them up. And I need to start getting some buffs out, don't I? Have two shamans. One's in hand, the other is going to be healing. Resto shaman means that I get earth shield. You're the enhance one, so hoof prince is the healer. Everyone else is getting salvation, so I can hold threat. Activate my skelly form. Going right now, I guess. Questy is really finicky about being in combat with the things it tries to do. Oh, well, they switched. We'll just grab these then. back over. Alcatraz is the uh, prison. We thought the other shit is bad. This is where they lock up the really bad shit. Although they are totally losing control of it. some of my gems to get it activated. I forgot that it needed three blues. I was gemming yellows. I have it on now. 18 stamina, 5 stun resist. So I've got some steady talazites, which are 4 defense and 6 stamina. In order to get that thing going. Meta gems, you can't just slot and use. They actually require a certain number of other gems on you to activate. This one needs three blues. And they do count the hybrid gems. The hybrids will count for either color. We have mana regen total. I like the fence, so I went with this hybrid one. Defense is a yellow stat. How do you put a yellow stat into a uh, blue socket? 
the socket's actually yellow. So I have a yellow socket, and I want the defense, which is yellow, but I need to count towards blue. So I get a hybrid gem that's yellow or blue. It's got defense and stamina. That's what we did. This one's still 8 defense. These are 4 defense, 6 stamina. aggro range so one mistake I commonly see is people who don't know better thinking they're gonna pull up past that doorway and then they end up with a half the shit in there basically wanna pull back here I wanna get one of these big guys see how far away you aggroed Bring his fat ass back here so we don't get anything out. It's almost dead. Now we'll get the next one. are the hardest. Usually it's the trash that's a pain in the ass, not the boss fights. But when it comes to the shadow elementals, the one in here and also mana tomes, those are some very dangerous bosses. The final boss of this place might very well be the most dangerous heroic boss. Eyeballs. The trash in this place isn't too bad. It's the bosses that's gonna get you. You do have those big fire elementals near the uh, end, but there's only two of those, I think. A few of them. Two, three, or four. Forget. You got fire resist. You should be able to suffer through it. things are ripped right out of doom. Could be using x -ray. Well, it's a demon. I've never blamed him for using it. kill that thing, which is common on heroics, you can just run past it. It's not locking a door or anything. I don't like skipping any bosses, but when I do this on heroic, we might not have a choice. I have to take what I can get. we'll get the final boss. And that's the one on the quest as well. I don't think there's any quest in the game that care about Zeracaf the Unbound. I'm on the quests that we have in here, which these are the normals, not the heroics. 
run says complete because we have to find the guy in here. It's, it's a dead guy on the ground. Yes, I was going to rebuff. Because of my water. We don't have a priest, but I am a paladin. So I have shadow resist. Shamans for bloodlust. Or heroism as the alliance calls it. Ouch. Need healing. Guzzle health pot. He has a knockback, so. That's why I'm pushing this position myself here on wall. Cloth spell power. Damn. That's some bad shit. I didn't notice he put one under me. If this, would pl if this was plate, I mean, it would actually be pretty good, but sadly it's fucking cloth, and I, can, I don't want to give up my armor. I need caster plate. Paladins. Protection paladins basically are casters. But we need plate. I don't think I'm going to bother actually taking the character to Karazhan, but I am going to do the quest. Because it sends me, it, it sends you through a bunch of the dungeons that I want to do anyway. So it's not like I'm going out of my way, I'm just picking the pieces up and getting the gold. that uh, absorb the first element they get hit with. It'll take minus 75 on that element and then use it against you. So I actually don't want to pull those. I want someone else to hit it with a different element so that it's not unholy. killed you. Maybe this thing had a cleave. The gnome sitting near me just dies. Our goat chicks are working on the revive. Who's gonna riz first? Our enhancements got a decapitator. Never managed to get one on my shaman, but it doesn't really matter now because I got a better weapon. I'm just happy to get to finally be rid of that fucking maze that I had. Like the very first Karazhan ran I did, I got the mace drop. I'm like, okay, I'll use this until I get a decapitator. And guess what? Decapitator never dropped. Uh, the mace was called a fool's bane. It definitely made me look like one. Swinging that stupid thing for so long. Good riddance. I'm so happy to be able to chunk that to the vendor. 
I would have paid the vendor to take it. So my shaman finally has two glorious axles. And no more dumb maze. We want axes for the uh, expertise bonus. fight uh, mobs like this in Nether Storm too and they were really fucking annoying because holy holy is the only element that I have on the whole class so if I do anything to the mob it absorbs holy and then it's minus 75 holy and it's using holy against me at that point just spamming it spams holy bolt uh, or a holy nuke and I don't have a resistor for that either the regular shadow elementals they were really easy. I just put up Shadow Resistor and wreck them. But the ones that absorb the element, they cut out most of my damage. And by switching to that element, I don't have a resist aura for it either. So it took me a stupidly long time to kill the things. And I had to repeatedly heal for all the damage they were doing to me. These are the bigger versions of those mobs, basically. Because they're the dungeon version. I was questing the regular ones. So we do have some weaknesses as Paladin. Mana and any magic that's not on a resist or a... Because we can only... Or at three different magics fire, frost, and shadow. The game has a great deal of nature in it. Not so much of the others. Holy is almost non existent on mobs. And arcane, there's not much of either. Giant demon death knights. Nice sword. Is that the obsidian? Molten core, obsidian edge blade. I never got one of those because I was an orc. I had a spinal reaper instead. Soul eater. Get your meat aura. 1k on that judgment. These are demons. Deathbringer. There's a good name for your death knight if you want to try and get it. But I, I've already got a nice name reserved. I'm not gonna fucking tell anyone what it is. I don't want to risk losing it even for 10 seconds. So when on the, there was a thread on the forum, it's like, what's your reserved death knight name? And I'm like, I ain't telling you. Because when I make the character, I'm going to risk it being stolen. 
It's like, yeah, you know, it's only gonna be open for like 10 seconds when you're making the character. I'm like, yeah, well, that's 10 seconds too many for me. I don't care if it was open for one fucking second. It's like, I don't want to look. It's a risk one way or the other. I'll be making that character as fast as I fucking can. Because thousands and thousands of other players are going to be making their death nights at the same time. Like, I'm not telling anyone what my reserve death knight name is. You're going to have to wait until Wrath to see it. lucky you might see my character select screen in somewhere <laughs> that might be in a video then you could look but eh. I don't even know if that's happened or not it may have I don't think mine is a uh, word that people are going to try right away. All the silly things like death this and death that are going to be taken. Everything that has fucking death in it is, go is going to be uh, snatched. And every possible variation of the word Arth has with all the accented letters. Double bounce me. He bounced me up and then punted me away. I'm not that worried that someone's going to get my name. I got it. Re got it reserved. And the only time that name will ever be up for grabs is when I uh making the character because I gotta delete the placeholder and then make the character so Blizzard will probably do a name reservation for uh, people who have an active sub Well, they wouldn't need to because you're already <laughs> I was thinking back to when they first did classic before they launched classic they actually let you reserve names like uh, two weeks before classic came to open the servers and let you make a character but you couldn't log in but you could riz names oh yeah it's those people That is why you don't get married. You think that hot babe is gonna stay like that forever? No. As soon as the ring is on, she turns into a fucking harpy. I asked for Detect Invis because it'll allow me to see the invisible succubuses in here. What's up?
What they could do, though, is allow you to make your Death Knight character before Wrath launches, but not allow you to log in. The patch might not even be in for them to exist. Although, I guess it would have to for the character select screen. Then you can get the guy. But either way, get the guy made. But, regardless of when they do it, everyone's gonna be on it. I think we could just get him now. It's a big fucking axe. That's actually the gore howl, which is what my worry's been trying to get from Karazhan, but it never goddamn drops on any of his runs. It dropped for most of the Shaman runs, though. I think every single run my Shaman has done on Karazhan, except for one, I think, has all been gore howls. But the warrior runs? None. Not a single gore howl. He, however, got a whole bunch of decapitator drops. I think it was like three or four different ones. The my warrior hasn't done as many runs as the Shaman. I was taking the Shaman first. I'll probably keep taking my warrior to Kara's hands continuously to try and get uh, those. Because that'd be a good weapon for my warrior to retire on. It's better than the Season 1 Gladiator Axe, which is the only other thing you would use. That is now available for honor, but I don't feel like farming honor right now. So we can attack either of these, and the dialogue will change depending on which one we get first. I'll go with Delia, Delilah. One that you attack will get mocked by the other one. But neither of them will help. They just watch their partner die. He's probably thank you, you just saved me a fortune in alimony. You chose the wrong opponent. We're gonna kill both of you. You think your earth uh Divorce court is bad. Yeah. Struggling to keep aggro. That's a rod. Finally. What? killed my wife. Now I don't have to pay anyone to do that. You just saved me a fucking fortune on alimony. But we're gonna get you too. Sako Threat. He's alright. Judging from the dialogue, she's just awful. Once a lady turns into Miss Naggy Pants and is just angry all the time. Rude and angry, just it's time to go. It's time to get out of that relationship. I'm sure she wasn't like that when they first hooked up. No, no, when we first hooked up, she was sucking this demon D every fucking night. Then we got married. And every night turned into once every three months. And I am tempted to take that for my retribution whenever I switch.
looks like Delilah's dildo, but we'll take it. No one else, no one else in here is gonna use it. We got casters and shamans, and enhancement just dual wields. Shamans don't use a two hand anymore unless it's a caster one, just for the stats. The enhancement shamans are the ones with the melee and a dual wield. This is basically a ret palette. Uh, perfect for retribution paladin. It's got intellect on it. One of each color. That's got ret pally written all over it. And as a mace, we get bonus expertise off of it. When I eventually switch to retribution spec, which I'm going to do, I'll have a nice mace to swing. I had a pole arm request reward. This is a maze, it'd be more ideal. Want a mace or sword? Not keeping aggro. Better get away from those things. They continue to shock you after they're dead. We still haven't reached the other quest yet. Harbinger Skyris is actually the final boss. We're almost to Seer Udalo. got ethereals in here for some reason. They're kind of out of place compared to everything else. We've been fighting demons and now we got these guys. I need to rebuff us. One of them's a healer. Expensive fight. These two key fragments are not in the same dungeon. So the other one is in Steam Bolts. They split this one up. I don't know why they didn't just do that with all three. They could have made one quest that said get all three of these key fragments. But they put one by itself, and it had two and three in the same close. It was too late to stop that, but I did dispel the sheep.
quest for dead dick over here. Basically, you were sent in to find this guy, start to find the corpse, then you go back and report that. Actually, I think I could get the demons. I'll just pull back. You can get the fire thing first. The fat ass inferno, or you can grab some of these. Scatter shot it. It's a hunter. Fire Lord walked off again, so I'll just grab the other demons. One of them is ranged, so you need to go around the corner, line of sight to some bitch. He's plucking his epic hunter bow at me. Yeah, I recognize that bow. You don't want to know how long I had one in Classic. Not this classic, but a private server classic. I was raiding as a hunter at that time. That's the epic hunter bow. It looks like a damn stick. Clearly they made it for Night Elf, but they stuck everyone with it. So even if you're not a Night Elf, you get stuck with their bow. been nice if Blizzard made another weapon for this version of Classic, but oh, no, of course not. Hashtag no changes. Not allowed to do anything that would help the game. All you have to do is copy and paste the fucking stats to another item that looks different. No, can't, can't do that. Of course not. I had it on a private server though, not Blizzard's Classic, but even on this version they didn't do it. Did not stun that. On this version I didn't make a hunter. You actually want to stack on these guys, because they'll hit someone with a nuke and it will divide per person. So, you're alone. You eat 100% of it, you're probably going to die. But if you split it, if you split the damage four or five ways, then everyone will survive. The last one. I've got the skelly. This is the last skelly. Exorism crit. I like it. I tried to get a better weapon than that uh, bow, but it didn't fucking drop. Like. Drop rate on staff fucked up a lot of uh, drop rates in classic. It was a private server, so the crossbow from Chromag, which was the next weapon up, that thing would only drop in like one in thirty goddamn Blackwing layer runs. I only ever saw it in all the runs that I did on several characters. I only ever saw it drop one time. Yeah. 
Did it miss? I think I dodged. I didn't take any damage off that bomb. I don't know. I, maybe I got a full resist. I thought it was a spell. Here it is again. You see all the damage we took? It divided. I think I just got a full resist on the first one. Or he missed the damn spell. It's lucky. I always seem to get screwed for weapons. Like everywhere I go. Back when I was raiding as a warrior, I could never get a Deathbringer or Doom's Edge for it to go Fury. So I was raiding with a goddamn Spinal Reaper, which wasn't, that's not ideal. But that's what I got. At least it was an axe. Because I was an orc. Then, uh, Shaman got screwed here. Well, both my orcs are being screwed here. We can't get the one hand on the Shaman, can't get the two hand on the fucking warrior. Should have just taken the decapitator on the warrior and went fury. But I, I like arms, so. Because that guy is mainly for chopping at alliance, and arms does it better. Okay, I'm gonna slap us up some new buffs. We got two shamans though, so. Oh well. Let's get it started. Doesn't matter if you hit him or not. I had to let them out. This is scripted. First boss will be over here. Just tell the prince you released the prisoners. <laughs> this hammer could not be more pitiful looking, could it? But it's actually really Let good. Me introduce you to another. Stalker. Three of these have different enemies that can come out, but one will always be the gnome. Get back over here. Terrifying creature of incomprehensible power. That's going to be the gnome. Can we buff him? No, I can't. The kings would have been crazy on him. I'm not gonna buy any more Nogger Foggers. I don't like the naked skeleton. If it would have you actually used your armor like it should, it would have been great. I don't know why they couldn't do that. Lazy. The Orb of Deception's also a bust. You get armor with that, but it's set armor and the pieces are just random. I don't know why they picked that. It's not even a magic set, like with being into light. It just, it looks like random quest gear in the 40s or something. Why the hell did they pick those items for the illusion? 
And then just leave it that way year after year after year. At least give them a magic set. Nefarian called. He want he wants his black winged dragon here back. Ah. Bubbling while tanking is usually not a good idea. It'll save your life, but that angry boss is just gonna go swing at everyone else. So. Rather someone else than you, but. I clicked it off, so it'll come back to me. Here's the actual boss, which looks like the prophet from Ankarak. I think that's where he's supposed to be from. He just ended up in here somehow. Welcome, O oh Great One. I am your humble servant. Not exorism. I don't think I can dispel that either. Stuns is not magic. Damn, that removed my buff. This one's fake. He'll make an illusion. You're gonna want a tremor totem if you have a shaman. Because he likes to fear. That one's fake. Get on the real one. It's basically a big shadow priest. Yes, fear, mind play, mind control. And it's also got an illusion to make. He is dead. That's right. We bad. We have a tank rank. Now who's taking that? And the healing necklace. Healer might want it. That's better than both of the things I got. I might continue using this anyway for the hit, but I think I'd rather keep that other tank ring on. So we have two tank rings now. Defense is getting higher. 458. Good, because we might need it for Shattered Hall. That place with all the damn orc packs is going to be rough. Quest turn in is right over here. Another blue on that. Let's see. Attack power and resilience. Spell damage heals and resilience. Or healing. Well, we want this one. Which I'll probably just use over the one I got. But the same level, but resilience is a tank stat. So that will complement my defense. Combined with that, that .61 I'm almost uncritable to an even level mob. We gotta get 
but mobs that are over 70 will still have more, so 5% wouldn't be enough. Yeah, really tough now. Anyway, that is it for this video.